Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, The Blood Samurai. My name is Sam and today we're back playing Obliterate Everything 3. Um, when I opened up the game, I had 47 iron, which I don't think is... Uh, or platinum, I mean. Uh, I had 47 platinum. And I don't think this is... I think it's just a visual thing. I could probably buy stuff with it, but I just figured, you know what? <clears throat> I'll just show. Ooh, that's actually pretty cool. I figured I would just show that it's probably temporary. Wait, oh, wait, what? Never mind. I'm wrong. Everyone ignore me. I'm completely wrong. Uh, I'm up to 57 now. How much platinum did I have in those last video? I didn't think I... Huh? <laughs> How did I end up with 57? <clears throat> well... Uh... Okay. I mean, I don't really have anything that I want to buy with it, but, um... I mean, maybe credits. I can buy credits with it. 5,000... <clears throat> that's pretty... That's actually pretty good, though. 5,000 credits? <sighs> Do I want to spend that many credits? Or, or, do I want to spend that many, that much platinum on credits? Kind of. I guess I could try to save it. I'm just worried about it, like, glitching out, but... I could save it. Okay, I think what I am going to do, though, is... I'm not sure, actually. Because this base shield, I definitely want to buy. But I was also would like the miner, but I don't think I'm really going to get the base shield. Anyway, let's just go. Let's just go in here, and let's just do the the usual. Just destroy everyone with the mosquitoes. We have defenses on our on our you know on our station so we don't really need to worry about anything. <clears throat> Let's just build up, you know, our our uh, energy. Also, yes, I, I, in case anyone is seeing this for the first time or whatever, and they're like, this game looks a little wonky. It is. It, it, I, I get it that it does look wonky. Um, <clears throat> the reason for that being the player that I have to play it on is... Um, I mean, it just looks weird. That's the best way to, to describe it. Looks a little weird. Because it's not like the... Because, like, the official, where, like, the official website, because this was originally a browser game, so the official website that it was originally posted to, um, it is still on there, but you're, it's unplayable, you can't actually play it on the website, so that's why, uh, you have to download, you have to actually download the, like, download it, um, and... If anyone is curious, I've mentioned this before, if anyone's curious how I was able to download it, then please uh, let me know in the comments if you would like to see me uh, showcase that. Uh, yeah, let's just go for our, our onslaught of mosquitoes now. We'll send in the knights to, you know, help defend them. But yeah, those mosquitoes do some serious damage. Mainly because they just target structures. So, like, the, the, so they do a ton of damage to structures, because obviously that's their specialty, is structures. So, it they do crazy damage. And then I got the upgrades on them, or the, you know, the mods for them as well, so that helps a lot. 
And then now we're just gonna have a whole swarm of mosquitoes just going for the, the red base. And yeah, they're just gonna, yeah, boom. They got absolutely wiped. What is that? What is, what is that? What technology is this? Energy? Ooh, nice. That's actually gonna be pretty good. Let's go for this. Okay, it's just me and purple. So, an increase of 5% isn't much, but... I mean, I, I, it, it's going to be a difference of plus 100 energy production and, and 105. So, I mean... It, like I said, it's not, it's not that big of a deal, but it'll make a difference. You know, in, like, mid-stage. Mid-stages of the levels. Early on, not really, but I mean, instead of, I mean, instead of 25, it'll be 26. Instead of 50, it'll be 52. So, there are small differences. And I guess not including the station. So, the station produces, like, I think, eight or something. So, that's actually up to, like, nine-ish. So. I don't know. It adds, it adds up. It adds up with time. Which also means that we, we don't have to have as many reactors to produce the same amount of energy, which is going to be really nice. Let's send out the knights at first, just to kind of take out some of these guys, and then we'll send in the mosquitoes. Because they're going to be the main sources of damage against the structures, the knights are just kind of there to help defend. The mosquitoes will also be doing most of the distraction while the knights are uh, destroying any of the units that might show up. There we go. That's everything pretty much built. Um, so yeah, like I said, the mosquitoes are distracting and they're also dealing damage to the structures while the knights are kind of cleaning up any of the uh, enemy units that try to come in to defend. See, so yeah, I definitely want to get that base shield whenever I get the chance to. Probably going to be here is when I get it. Let's see, let's see. The music in this game has always been pretty nice, though. So yeah, uh, this game is a fairly old game. Uh, uh, if anyone hasn't seen my first video on the game, it came out in 2014. And the creator of the game actually ended up passing away I believe 2000, like 2016. So RIP. His name uh, was uh, his username is C W Wallace. Um, his real name is like Chris. Not sure what his last name is. Um, but I just know his first name is Chris. Tip RIP to Chris. Um, and if you believe you know, people go to somewhere when they die, then he's uh, hopefully watching down on all of us, wherever he may be, watching people continue playing his game, watching, I mean, 
I don't know if he'd be watching this video, I mean, <laughs> but, I mean, I hope he's, I hope he's, you know, not too upset with how things have been going. I have, the thing that sucks, though, is that a lot of people don't know about what happened to him. It, 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 he died of cancer, by the way, just, just in case anyone was curious, like, how he passed away. He died of cancer, um... But yeah, the, the thing that really does suck is a lot of people, yeah, like I said, don't really know what what happened to him, where he went, things like that. And so people have been like, oh, when, cause he, and he was supposed to be working on, like, uh, obliterate everything for. And people are like, you know, it would be nice if you would give us an update, you know, like, where's the update for, for your game? Or, you know, to see, you know, people kind of like won't leave the nicest of comments on his games on the website that this game originally originated from is which is a, a congregate that's the original website this game is from where he posted it and yeah and like i said people will be like well when are you can you give us updates on obliterate everything for like it's been years and you haven't given us an update um actually i don't I, maybe it wasn't 2016 when he passed away but 2016 is just from the last the last time when this game started getting updated might have been like i think it was actually maybe like 2020 i think i have the dates wrong um i i'd have to go back and look um but uh but yeah so people are like oh yeah when are you gonna can you give us an update for when this game when your next game is coming out or can you like when are the next updates for Blooder and everything, everything 3 coming out. And so it's just, it's really sad to see those comments because you know, like, those people have no idea what happened to them. And people, and they're, and, you know, you know those people have no idea that this guy had passed away. Because otherwise these people wouldn't be leaving the comments that they're leaving um, if they did know. So I just kind of hope that one day, you know, someone takes up the mantle and, you know, should I even go for that? Yeah, I'm gonna go for that. Yeah, I hope one day someone takes up the mantle and, um, you know, starts, like, adding to, like, this game, or maybe, like, adding on to, or, like, recreating Obliterate Everything 4 based on the, uh, based on, like, the previous games, because this is obviously Obliterate Everything 3. He has had Obliterate Everything and Obliterate Everything 2, which those games came out even earlier than this one did. Obviously, that's how sequels work. Um, I guess, referring to those games, they, those would be prequels. But. So, so, yeah, I just hope one day, you know, someone takes up the game and kind of, in his honor, you know, does more more with this game franchise it kind of expands on it i honestly wouldn't even mind like if there's a developer or whatever watching this video i don't have a lot of money but i will pay someone to develop this game and you know or de you know um develop another game i don't know if i don't know exactly how it all works because i don't know if it's like um you have to have, like, the, um, whatever, um, why can't I think what it's called, the, uh, rights to, like, develop a game. If you don't have the rights to that game, then maybe you can't, like, add to it, or, like, between. which I guess would make sense. It's, like, if he has the, like, the, um, trademark for the game, and if it's, like, you can't just develop a game without buying that trademark from them. That's probably how that works. Probably do need to buy the trademark. We almost lost one of our, uh, one of our fighter base. But I'm curious how it works since he passed away. So like, does the trademark still uphold? Like, I'd have to see if I can get in contact. If any developer is interested in that, let me know. Um, and then I can get into contact with, like, uh, with his dad and see how the dad would feel about, like, a sequel to Obliterate Everything 3. Or uh, allowing people to kind of expand on that because 
I don't know. I, I'm just, I'm in the mindset of the, the dad needs to, or the dad would be. But then again, maybe he just wants to be like, no, if this is my son's thing, you know, I'm, I'm going to let it, let it be, you know. Which is also fair enough. I just would love to see more come from the from this game than come from um, the fr game franchise. Just kind of to honor him and to uh, not let the games die out. Because currently, it, like I said, the game... I don't know about the first two. I know with this one, this game is unplayable on the Congregate website. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm not sure about the first two. Uh, I know the first two are still available on certain websites, but not sure about on or on, yeah on certain websites. But I'm not sure about on the Congregate one. Honestly, the base technology that adds the shield, it's not, it's not actually coming in hand, it's not going to be like as good as I was hoping it would be, um, mainly for the fact that we're just, like it doesn't, it just adds it to the station, it doesn't actually add it to like the reactors or anything like that, so the reactor or the station can just defend itself using its auto cannons. It doesn't really need anything else. And anything that really can get past it or outranges it just kind of, um, like already kind of pierces through shielding anyways. So it doesn't really matter. Once you get a lot of mosquitoes going, then they just kind of start just destroying everything. Even if the even if the enemy has like you know medium ships and has like good defenses and things like that, it's yeah they just they, there's no stopping just a horde of them. Um, I would like to buy that mine. Please don't take that out of context, please. guys. Please don't take that out of context. Uh, oh, that's not a good sentence to say. Oh, I'm actually not sure which one's better, the fire rate or the. Oh, so I can just sell that, yeah. You want to buy the miner? The, I'm buying. The, uh, I need to. I'm stop. I'm not gonna say that sentence again. I'm not a Minecraft YouTuber. Okay, I don't. You don't need to worry about that with me. Actually, I've done Minecraft videos, so... Does that make me a Minecraft YouTuber? I don't know. I'm a little worried now. I don't do that stuff, I promise. Oh, gosh. <laughs> this is not a good look. This is not a good look. Please don't clip that. Maybe I should, should I clip that? Wait, if I clip it before anyone else clips it, then no one else can clip it. I can just be like, hey, I clipped it first. Joke's on you. Is that the play? I 
if you if you if you clip yourself saying something like heinous and you upload it, does that like? This is a really weird turn of events. I'm not. I'm, not, I'm just. I'm just focused back on the game. I'm gonna stop saying what I'm. I'm gonna just stop talking about everything else I was talking about. I'm just gonna go back to the game. Nice weather we're having. Yeah, if I can just focus all of my mosquitoes on the green guy. Or, or just go over to the red guy. I guess that's fine too, game. But yeah, I mean, the knights are mainly for destroying smaller units. Not really tanking for the mosquitoes. So I, I think the fire rate would be better. Actually, I guess the shield. I guess the shield actually isn't that bad because it does defend everything inside. Maybe the shield is actually good. Cause yeah, it does defend against like projectiles and things like that that an enemy base might have. And I did buy it, right? Yeah, I did buy the miner. I need it. I need it. Oh, I'm not that saying. Okay. What is this technology here? I think this is probably like a poison thing, like make poison rounds last longer. It, it, I mean, it's green. It kind of reminds me of like the other stuff where it's like, oh yeah, uh, makes, you know, freeze rounds attack or you know last longer or whatever uh, so but it's just like the green version of that so I'm guessing it's it's just poison so I don't really need that because I'm not gonna be going for you know, poison rounds those don't really matter to me I mean, I guess the shielding is coming in handy right now. I mean, it's blocking those projectiles that would normally, like, hit it, so... That would uh, normally hit the station, I should say. Because, like, these things, yeah, those things here would... I mean, they're obviously not really hitting the station or coming towards the station often but if an enemy unit see like that if an enemy unit like kind of gets too far over onto their onto like in between our my base and the orange base if the enemy yellow you know enemy unit gets too close to our to my base then their the orange projectiles could end up coming over towards me so, like, see, like that. Um, okay. Now it's time to send it to Port of Mosquitoes. All they really have are miners coming after me. I, I hate all of these sentences that I'm starting to say at this point. Um, they have guys that mine. For metal. Metal miners. Is that any better? Metal miners? I don't know. I hope it is. Okay, destroyed the orange guy. Now we gotta go for yellow. Take out the yellow. Take, we gotta take out the yellows. I. No one's gonna take that as like a bad thing, right? Like, I'm just talking about the base, I'm not talking about any people. 
Everyone knows that, right? I'm not talking bad about anything or anyone. Please don't take that out of context. Please. Yes, go knights, go. Well done. See, the only problem is the mosquitoes have to travel a very long, a very far distance to actually reach the yellow base. And so by that time, like, the yellow units can kind of pick off some of the mosquitoes. I'm just kind of hoping that my knights can help defend a little bit. And they're, they're doing a good job of it. Okay, we're fine. Nothing to fear. We're good. Yep, acid boost. I kind of figured that's what it was going to be. Okay, we have... Clo oh, cutlasses with cloak. Ooh. Interesting. Um, that is, that could be interesting. Because they are designed for close, close quarter combat. I might, I might hold off and maybe try to buy something else in the future. Oh, these guys are going to be rough. Um, I'm hoping I have enough to defend against these guys, but they're going to be very difficult to deal with. Um, mosquitoes alone are not going to be able to. So I may, I think I am going to need to go for the miners and let them mine up some metal and then I can try to go for like a star port. I really think, I, th I think the only thing that's actually going to save me here is probably going to be a star port. Because these guys are very strong and they get very, a lot stronger as time goes on much stronger as time goes on, may I add. Okay, yep. Yep, and then they, and they can turn your guys into their guys if they get touched by this stuff. So you have to be very careful. Uh, and if that stuff touches your bait or touches stuff in your base, then it'll in, in instantly get destroyed. So that's why it's so freaking dangerous and you need to keep it away from literally everything. Yeah, and that poison is not much better either. Okay. We're going with the... Yeah, we need to go with that thing. What stuff do I even have? We just have that guy, okay. Okay, hold on. Let me actually get rid of that. Oh, I want to build a constructor. Okay. Somehow we ended up winning that. Um, oh, mine. Okay, nice.
Okay. I'm curious if I can get like some technology that would obviously like boost my weapon somehow. I think that would be really nice. But, yeah, get against those infectious or like the yeah the infection guys. They are very dangerous and usually quite difficult to beat. Um, early on, they're going to be not that difficult. Later on, I'm going to need some pretty powerful technology. I'm hoping for um, um, one of those like laser cannon things. Laser, probably just like a laser turret is probably what it's called. Um, because I think the laser cannons are, like, stronger, but they have a slower fire rate. They're still lasers, they still have long range, but they have a slower fire rate, and right now, I don't, that's not what I need. I need, I need, like, it doesn't need to have, like, that high of damage, but I need to have something that's gonna have, like, you know, a fast, a fast fire rate, high range, not that high of damage, but, you know, decent enough damage to be able to one-shot, like, fighters and things like that. Go for the mosquitoes. I wonder if this is actually going to be enough. Seems like, for the most part, all my stuff is going to be kept back at my base. I don't know if I actually have enough guys to destroy all their stuff. Um, orange guys don't look like they're, uh, they're doing as well. I think most of my stuff is going towards the orange guys, so I think I'll probably be fine on that front. Um... The knights are mainly just kind of holding off the yellow guys. And then, yeah, the mosquitoes are, like, taking out the, uh, the orange guys. Yellow guys are definitely a bit more dangerous to my current setup, I think. They got missiles, they got, you know, the lasers, things like that which are very effective against my guys. I don't even have, like, I don't even have the max thing on mosquitoes. There we go, now I do. Jeez, yeah. Somehow, I just cannot break through, like, the orange guys, though. Eventually, I probably will, simply because of, like, how much damage their main base is taking. Oh yeah, they're they're done for now. Yellows are probably done for as well. Cause now it's like all of my guys are going straight for them. Oh then maybe I'm wrong, I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out. Mosquitoes are actually doing pretty good damage just against, like, the normal units as well. Because it's like, you know, the force rounds are kind of coming in handy. I would prefer something other than the force rounds, but... I mean... Not bad. I would rather, like, I think few or I think uh, the fusion rounds, I think they're called. Um, I think those do a bit more damage against, like, structures. Which would have been, which would be great for the, for the mosquitoes. Um, but, it is what it is. This is what I want as one of my turrets. Because this is like the, the plasma thing, the plasma turret. I think that's what it's called at least and yeah it, it has long range it can one shot um fighters it's what you see um i think it was the yellow guys had it 
I know one of the factions usually has it. Basically, it's a turret, but it does what this guy does. Where it shoots out that laser. So yeah, it's that guy, but as a turret. <laughs> You know, if push comes to shove, if this guy ever gets to be a little too low, I can always just put in like a repair turret and it'll be fine. Not a big deal. my knights. So I really, I don't really have much room at the moment. I think I am actually going to start going for some miners. But I really don't have much space to actually build things, which has me a little concerned. So I think I'm actually just going to send out a bunch of knights. It's kind of just to keep the enemy units kind of at bay. Because, yeah, these asteroids are, like, taking up most of the space, which is not good. If I can build, like, some constructors and stuff around, I think that would help get a better spot. We're going to put another... Put one there. You just have to be careful, you know, not to obviously lose before before he Yeah, see, there we go. Now we're getting... Now we're starting to kind of push back a little bit more. Jeez. By a little bit, I mean apparently a lot. <laughs> I mean, all you really need is a lot of reactors, and then you can win even if they have stronger units than what you have. Oh, it's just called a laser. Okay. Yep, yeah, destroys fighters. It's a very useful turret to have. Because, yeah, it just one-shots um, enemy fighters. I'm actually just going to put one down. Just so we basically never have to worry about enemy fighters getting anywhere close. It's literally designed for destroying fighters. It's, it's quite literally in the description. <laughs> yep, you see, as this miner or multiple miners are coming in range, they just end up getting one shot. And it's got a very long range. Decent attack speed as well. And obviously enough damage to one shot a fighter. That's exactly what we need. <laughs> Not really good against, you know, anything else. Like, obviously, like, the bigger guys are not gonna take much damage from it. But, um, still, still nice to have. Especially early on, when you're kind of dealing with a lot of fighters. I probably should have put it, yeah, I should have put it, like, further back, like, right there. So 
that it would be guarded by the, uh, what's I gonna put that down? So there's literally, like, nothing to worry about. I could even give it a repair to it if I really wanted to be cautious. But I think that's probably unnecessary. That might be a little... They're just destroying, you know, obviously all the all the star docks, all the fighter bays, all the extractors, and now they're going for the base. And yeah. the the knights just pair apparently like extremely well with the mosquitoes. Like I was not expecting the, that combo to be like so good in this. I they can kind of bring back the community for this game. This is such an amazing. It really is. Well, yeah. I hope I can bring back the green for it. Ah, uh, yeah, the green guys. So the green guys had the, uh, the, the laser, the laser turret. I didn't, I couldn't remember which faction it was that had it, but it was the green guys. making a little pattern. I mean, we got enough damage with the auto cannons to be able to, you know, defend against most of what is get, what gets sent at me from the green guys. So I don't really worry that much. I can, I just can, you know, focus on building the reactors, and then I can start sending in mosquitoes. Biggest problem are going to be like I think interceptors is what they're called. I'm never sure. I'm pretty sure I always get like their name wrong. I believe it is interceptors. The guys with the lasers, these guys here. Those are gonna be the biggest uh, counter to our mosquitoes. So that's why I'm putting down so many knights. To hopefully be able to help deal with deal with those guys. Also, it's really annoying because they also pair very well with the Skirmisher. Because the Skirmisher, like, is good for targeting, like, uh, big, you know, strong units. And then, you know, obviously you have, like, the Interceptor stuff that can target the, uh, the weak units. I'm going to put down some Miners because I actually don't think I'm going to be able to break through their defense. Or you know, break through, like, even their offense, really. I don't think I'm gonna be able to break through. 
So I'm putting down the miners so I can get some constructors. Um, to hopefully be able to kind of expand out a little bit more. Because otherwise I think I'm kind of screwed. I'm just kind of going to be stuck in this limbo state where they're constantly going get, to be getting stronger and I've kind of maxed out my potential. Um, another constructor there. Yeah, see, now they got, they got that guy up and going. So, it's just a carrier, so it's not like the strongest of, like, units, but it's still, kind of scary. I think the trident is definitely stronger, but it's still a capital ship. It's still scary, you know? And it's still going to be dealing some serious damage to my base if I don't get some more guys going to help defend. Yeah, definitely need the tridents out there. Otherwise, yeah, I am beyond. There we go. This is a little bit more of an epic war scene, I would say. Literally putting starports basically on their front door. <laughs> I'm, I'm like building into their territory. Because I'm using instructors to like fully branch out my base. Yeah, I would have been completely screwed if I did not do that. So, I want to sell that engineer. I don't think he's really going to be that good. But yeah, this is the laser cannon that I was talking about before. It has um, a high damage and a high range. It's the same thing as like the laser. But it has a very slow uh, fire rate, which is why I prefer the laser over the laser cannon. <laughs> Basically the same cost other than the 25 metal, but it's when it comes to dealing with um, fighters, I just prefer, prefer that. Ooh, am I in the middle? I am. Interesting. I don't think I've actually faced a level like this yet. So... I think this might be a time where I'm gonna need some lasers. I'm putting that one down a little bit lower just in case uh, something happens and I, you know, some projectiles or whatever come flying like from the plasma guys. Just in case things get a little too close and then, yeah, like the plasma flies in or something else happens. Just to be on the safe side. Not as worried about down here because they don't really have anything like that, but the orange guys do. So, just wanna be sure. Just trying to be a little extra cautious. cautious. Definitely gonna need to go for um, miners here, though. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get away with like mosquitoes and things like that. It's not... Oh, when the music changes, that's how you know someone got a uh, medium ship, I believe. Yep. The music changes depending on if someone got like a starport or a star dock. Or not not the starport or star dock, but if they got like a the unit that is produced by one.
So like how the music right there, I got the trident and the music changed. You guys have probably are, are probably already noticed that because it ha it's happened multiple times every time you get you know a capital ship it happens. Um, that's just something to kind of keep in mind and to watch to like this before. If you hear like music changing, if you do play this game, you know, just listen for like music changing and then you don't even need to check to see if, you know, if, if one of your enemies got something, you can just know by the music. Which is a very nice touch, I feel like, to this game. It's a, it's a feature that I guess probably not a lot of people know or maybe even pay attention to. It's just something that I kind of... It, it's, it, it does happen. And if you play the game enough, you'll notice it. micro missiles and yeah, they're probably not gonna be that good video is almost an hour long let's just take out uh, this one see what kind of trident um, we're gonna get from this and then I'll end the video after this mission and then yeah the station will be able to deal with these fighters that are coming in, except for the mosquito, but the mosquito will, it, its shot will get destroyed by the shield. So actually, we don't even need to worry about these, like, early, early guys. They're not going to be able to even deal any damage to us, which is really nice. That's why, I like, the auto cannons and the base shield are a pretty nice combo. Um, later on, probably want to go for more energy-based stuff, which I already have a couple of energy-based stuff, but I'm hoping, you know, maybe better things in the future will come to us. Not super sure, though. Just kind of hopeful that it does. That, it come, that dream comes to fruition might even not even have a choice but to go for miners on this mission just because of how many asteroids are kind of like in the way so i might have to just go for miners just to not even to really remove the asteroids but just to so i can afford to build constructors Also gonna have to build a turret because otherwise they're gonna kind of harass our miners. We build a constructor there. Put some reactors back there. Why not? I can't even... The music hasn't changed, it has me. Oh wait, did it? I guess it did at some point. Interesting. I guess even sometimes I miss the the queue for when an enemy builds or uh, produces a medium ship. It's very noticeable with the capital ship though. Like the music just has a very noticeable change. It's probably also noticeable when like someone built a medium ship, but I just haven't really paid attention to it. Let's see, what kind of trident did we get? Oh, six armor regen? I mean, that's not bad. 
it's better than what we had before, which is absolutely nothing. I wonder what that thing is. I'll have to check it out. It looks like it may be like an energy based thing or maybe something else. I'm not sure. But if you guys want to, you know, learn what that is with me, you're going to have to watch the next video where I'll be taking on this mission. But for the time being, um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video of Obliterate Everything 3. If you did, please leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. It means the world to me. It doesn't cost you guys anything. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. You guys take care.